Let's make something for a guitar today, shall we? Hey, what's happening, guys? Back in the 1980s, this guy you see here was working as a design product engineer for Polaroid. Now, you may not know his name, but I guarantee you, you know his music. That's Tom Schultz from Boston. And he was an electrical engineer and a musician who created one of the most iconic guitar sounds in the history of rock and roll. From something that he created called the Rockman. Now, the Rockman was designed to be a guitar uh, headphone amplifier so that you could practice without disturbing anybody. But folks found out that this thing made an incredible sound. Here's a close-up look at the uh, the control panel. You see you plug in your guitar here, you have your headphone out here, little volume, little on-off, then you have distortion, edge, clean, echo, off, chorus, off, or normal. That sound is super iconic. I'm going to play you just a couple seconds so I don't get demonetized. Ready? Here we go. The only way that you can get that sound is through the Rockman. And we're going to build something close to the Rockman called the Mockman. Let's take a look at another thing here. There is his uh, a uh, claim check from his company, Schultz Research and Development, out of Boston. And uh, the first Boston album was recorded entirely by Tom Schultz and entirely in his basement. And when he took it to the record company, they couldn't believe he'd done it all himself, how he got these incredible sounds. But he did. So here is his original patent drawing. For the Rockman, and basically you can see it is just a, a dual op amp design. Got some filtering. Uh, there's a JFET, some diode clipping here and there. But the one we're going to build is a simpler version called the Mockman, and hopefully it'll give us that sound. So we're going to use a dual op amp, have some integration going on, some high pass, low pass filtering and 9 volt power supply. So let's bring up some CAM software, some CAD software rather, and see if we can't put this thing together. Okay, so here's our schematic drawn up. We have uh, four sections. We have the power section here, the input section here, the amplification section here, and our output section here. So our input is going to come from either a 9-volt battery or a power adapter. We have a little current limiting going on here and some filtering going on here to the point that we're going to have our V plus, which will be our 9 volts, and then we'll have a V ref, which is uh, half of this voltage divider here. So that'll be 4.5 volts. And those come over here, and you can see the V plus, our 9 volts, goes into the VCC. And then our V ref, which is the 4.5 volts, goes into the uh, non-inverting input of both op amp 1 and op amp 2. Now our input signal from the guitar is going to come over here. It's going to go through this filter right here. And then it have another little uh, current limiting going on here. And it's going to come into our negative input, or our inverting input. Then it's going to be integrated and it's going to come out, again, be filtered again, go into the second one, be integrated, output over here through another filter, and then through our volume control and out to the amplifier. So that's the circuit. It's pretty simple. I've, I've eliminated the uh, chorus, the echo, and the, uh, the multiple gain uh, stage switches. Just made it as simple as possible to see if it'll work. Let's hope it does, right? All right, so I've got our circuit board um, ready to go here. And it is going to fit into a standard uh, guitar stomp box. So it has to be 111 millimeters by 55 millimeters. So there's our board outline. 
So we're going to bring down here our input first, then our power, then that output over here. Try and rotate these so that all of our grounds are going in one direction. I definitely want to separate the input and the power. Now, the, uh, the op amp I've chosen here says it's the LM358, but we are actually going to use the JRC4558, which is pin compatible, and it is a low noise op amp, so I like that a little bit better. We'll bring our volume control over here as well. And we have all of our capacitors and resistors to put in. So I'm not going to make you watch me do that. Give me one second and I will put that all together. Okay, so everything's placed and routed. I'm just going to go to the bottom layer here and put in our copper. There we go. So far, so good. Let's add a little logo to it. Uh, let's see where did I put her. Make this about. Oops. 26 millimeter sure why not right and this needs to go on the top soap layer and we need our bear of course because that's our mark for everything we do And then let's have a 3D look at it. So there it is. Relatively simple. Again, this is just a proof of concept to see if this little circuit's going to work. I hope it will. It should. And if it works, then we'll add the uh, standard stop box switch and we'll move the. Uh, variable resistor off the board onto the face. So I guess what we have to do now is get these ordered and made up. Okay, so we're over at the PCBWay site. And of course, PCBWay is the major sponsor of my channel. We'll be using them. We're going to do a quick order. So we just need to add our Gerber which is in the downloads it's called the knot man huh that looks strange let's go over to the online Gerber viewer Oops. Don't look great now, does it? So, okay, let's see. There's our top. Show off all these other layers. So, there's our top copper. 
solder mask, bottom copper, which is what we drew, solder mask, Get our drill files here. Thing we're not seeing now of our silk screen. Let's go up to the top. Look at the bottom. Well, that's really strange. I'm going to try and output these Gerbers again because I don't want to order something that's wrong. Well, I've out. I've uploaded the Gerbers twice more. I've outputted them from my software twice more. I get the same results. I don't see any errors in my thing. So it says right here Gerber Viewer is for reference only. So I don't know what to say. I'm confused. But we'll give it a shot and see what we get. So this is my proof of concept. I'm only going to order five of them. Green and white is fine. Hit the tick mark. Now you notice these are a bit more expensive coming in at $23. And the reason for that is because I've gone over the 100 millimeter uh, width limit. So I'm at 111 millimeters wide. So they, give, they get a bit of an upcharge there. And if you don't, but if you don't need them right away, you can go China Post and your shipping drops down to 12. Let's see what else we got. E Packet. Shipping drops down to 10. Other shipping way? Doesn't say. So DHL is probably the most expensive at 18. FedEx is 22. PCB Way Express, 13. China Post at 12. And e pack it at 10. I'm just going to leave mine at DHL for now. Three to seven days. Let's try something. Yeah, DHL is the fastest method. Okay, I will save these to my cart. And there she is. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in four or five days. Of course, in your time, it'll just be the blink of an eye. Here are the boards. You can see they came out just fine. I don't know what that issue was with their Gerber viewer. So let's put one together. What do you say? Alright, we're all hooked up. Everything is plugged in. Amps on standby. This is my 59 Fender Baseman 4x10. And that's a 2008 Les Paul Gold Top. So, let's see what she sounds like. Let me get the guitar on and we'll give her a go. Not exactly like a Rockman, but it's not bad. 
Ooh, that's ugly, isn't it? It's got a little bit of that rocking sound to it. I like it. So the circuit itself works. I'm going to play around and change some of the capacitor values to change the uh, the filtering to get more of that mid-rangey uh, scooped sound of the original Rockman. We'll see where it goes from there, but uh, it works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Realize my guitar playing ain't that great. Uh, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.